one cool place. Space shuttle Atlantis now comes home. Live from Johnson Space Center. For the final time. This is the Houston Morning News. And more than 120 million miles traveled. With Matt Patrick and Lois Melkonian. KKRH News Time is 4.52. Coming up on 4.53, the reason I say that is because 4.54, just about a minute from now, we're going to be joining Fox News Live. Keep in mind, uh, you can always go to our website, KTRH.com. KTRH2, of course, uh, is where you will hear Mission Control. Go to iHeartRadio. You're going to hear uh, everything there if you've got your iHeartRadio with you. Uh, or better yet, just uh, keep it right where it is. Uh, News Talk 740, as Lois and I uh, walk you through it. We've got a lot of great guests that will be coming up today uh, that we will be talking uh, with not only about about the space program, but about a lot of other things that are going on in our country as well. We're looking forward to uh, meeting the final four astronauts who will be coming down in just moments, Lois. And, you know, their level of excitement right now, everything went so beautifully, so well. And, Matt, I think this was an enormous surprise. The weather has cooperated. Every single thing they wanted to do toward the end, there were no delays. Of course, as you know, NASA is very, very careful to to know exactly what they need to do if something doesn't work. But that has not been the case this morning. No, that, it certainly has it. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to turn things uh, over to uh, Fox News, our uh, news partner. That's right. And they're going to take it live as uh, we will all watch wheels stop here as Atlantis comes down right here on News Talk 740 KTRH. With some ability to control it, uh, the shuttle right now will pass almost overhead of its landing point. It will go past it. It will make a left turn into what's called the heading alignment circle to slow itself down, put itself at the right altitude and angle before it comes drifting in. Let's listen to NASA and listen to the play-by-play. Pilot Doug Hurley now taking a few seconds of stick time on Atlantis. With a fitting elegance for its final moments of flight, Atlantis takes one last lap around the Kennedy Space Center. Eben, you'll let us know when you lay eyeballs on her for a moment, but we want NASA to narrate the majority of this historic end of the human spaceflight program for for now, at least for the launch capability. The voice again... at the 90. On at the 90. Commander Chris Ferguson and, uh, now back on the stick. Atlantis uh, descending at an me. angle seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner. And Mitch, we've got less than two minutes to go, and I'd like to tell a, a quick story about how fast the shuttle moves. On a, on a previous mission, uh, the shuttle uh, flew over the entire United States and uh, passed over my father-in-law in Oklahoma. He heard the double boom, and nine minutes You're later, it was wheel stop on the ground of the shuttle in landing on KTRH. Um, okay, let's, let's listen now. Excess speed prior to the landing gear deployment by pilot Doug Hurley. Again, the space shuttle Atlantis, moments away from home. Again, the view from the pilot point of view camera, one minute till touchdown. Still very dark in that view from the cockpit at this point. The runway is in sight. Shuttle starting to pull level, pull up out of its dive. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing gear down and locked. Beautiful sight. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port 
for the last time, its voyage at an end. Right on time, right on target. You just heard a piece of history. 30 years of space shuttle program now coming to an end. This is Fox News Radio's coverage of the landing of the space shuttle Atlantis. Edmund Brown is in Florida, right alongside the runway. Eben, did you see it? Uh, we did see it here. You know, the, the press mount at the runway is sort of uh, halfway down, and uh, it's hard to see either end of the runway because of a tree line. But uh, we know that some people who are up on risers, uh, when they start applauding, we know that Atlantis has, uh, has come to the runway, and then we get to see her roll past us, usually very quickly with the parachute out okay. behind her. Okay, let's uh, and listen. She again disappears which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. Hey, thanks, Butch. Uh, great words, great words. You know, the space shuttle's changed the way we uh, view the world, and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. There's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Amen. Inspiring Amen. Comments As I Atlantis. look above me here, we'll uh, I look at the banners in the Johnson Space Center, the Columbia, right the Challenger, the That Discovery, was Chris Ferguson, the, the commander Endeavor, the Atlantis, of the space shuttle, speaking right on for time, all of the right shuttle target, craft that have Atlantis flown, lands including Cape the Canaveral, two that did not survive. And the inspiration of a generation, the space shuttle program, comes to an end, a fitting end. And uh, even more fitting uh, is the, the fact that there is not a dry eye in this building. Mm -hmm. uh, as, that, uh, as that shuttle touched down, you could see it. You could see the emotion. I can feel it. There's emotion here uh, for all of us. Uh, News Talk 740, KTRH News staff, and uh, back in the studio. Uh, it's quiet. I can feel it. it it's palpable. Um, you know, it is, it is the end of an era.